So how is it going guys and today I'm gonna do 10 WWE secrets that has been caught on camera with that being said at number 10 is the Wyatt family and all of their magic stuff they do. So if you guys don't remember when Roman Reigns and the Wyatt family were having a big battle let me just briefly explain what happened. So Roman Reigns and Wyatt family were fighting for months and months then the Wyatt family decided to interrupt a match and then they interrupted a match on Smackdown and they, it was Roman Reigns, Dean Ambrose and Jimmy Usos they were fighting together then somehow the light went off like they usually do and then Jimmy Usos disappeared and then he was on Bruce Storman's hands all the way across the field pretty much. So this is what actually happened. So Jimmy Usos actually went under the ring. His brother Jay Uso was in Bruce Storman's hands before all of this happened. So that's how on Jimmy Usos quote unquote went inside Bruce Storman's hand. And that is how they do all of their magic Houdini stuff. So we got you Bray Wyatt. But with that being said, at number 9 is Rusev and Lana re uh, situation. So this used to be really really popular. It is still popular but Rusev and Lana were actually about to get engaged and everything. Then uh, Dolph Ziggler and, Rusev and Lana were doing some stuff like that. Then TMG actually leaked a picture of Rusev and Lana in bed together with the engaged ring. So WWE had to cancel all of the stuff they were gonna do when uh, like Lana and Summer Rae were gonna fight and everything because everybody knew it was all acting and fake. So WWE decided, you know what, fuck it, we're gonna cancel this because this is really, really awkward now. But with that being said, at number 8 is Vince McMahon saying fuck to his own son pretty much. So he went up to WWE, then he said you are gonna get your ass kicked or you are gonna get your fucking ass kicked or something. He, he dropped the F-bomb in front of millions of people not in for in the ring because that a million people cannot fit but millions of people were watching it all over the world so it was really really strange that he actually did that uh, i thought I, I guess he thought nobody would capture but it's wwe and it is the internet age right now everybody has a phone so everybody can catch that so this mcmahon said fuck in front of millions of people even in front of kids and everything and if you guys did not notice that now you know it but with that being said at with that being said, at number 7 is NXT. NXT is one of the biggest and most popular show on the WWE Network. So if you guys don't know what NXT is, NXT is like uh, behind the scene of WWE and that might explain why this is here. Because NXT reveals the creative team and how they write their storyline and how they fake fight and everything. It's really really weird that WWE actually decided to make this show. It's really really popular so I guess I understand why it is running still but it like reveals everything about WWE. How they act and everything. Really 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 interesting that they made this show. But with that being said at number 6 is fake crowds. That WWE actually uses fake crowds on Smackdown. So if you guys did not know which you probably didn't. On Smackdown, there used to be like crowds at that like cheer and everything, we all know that. But WWE actually decided to edit the fake crowd on Smackdown and made it look real. I will play the sound right now so you guys can hear it. So you guys did hear the crowd, it's really really weird and strange but I don't understand why they would do this when WWE has like a humongous, humongous fan base and if WWE wants to cheer up they will cheer up I mean WWE fans are super loud if they want to be so I don't understand why they would do this but at number 5 this is a big one right here do wrestlers reversing or acting before the match so I'm gonna play the video so hopefully you guys will understand why this is here so watch the video for a couple of seconds and I will be back so you guys just saw the video I know this is really really strange Undertaker and his uh, what is it da not his dad but you guys know are acting right now and they're acting like Undertaker is putting him in this uh, like little truck place so really really weird and I don't know how this even got leaked because there is nobody watching this this is before the everything happens this is some next level leaked right there this is like old time but you guys can see that WWE actually acts before they do it because they might like it say some words that they shouldn't be and everything but with that being said at number four is the raw strip this is really really popular i think everybody knows this one 
So this happened like between 2014 and 2015 when the raw strip was actually leaked on the internet and you know what happened. This was all over news, this was blowing up, WWE didn't say anything because they don't want to get their reputation blown up. But you guys can see right there, John Cena promo, Bray Wyatt promo, John Cena promo, John Cena music, Cena exit, I mean horror graphic, everything it is right there. You guys can look at the picture and tell me what you guys think. I mean this is next level leak right there that if that doesn't explain why wwe is fake then i truly truly don't know what will be and if you are a wwe fan good for you i really don't care i'm a huge wwe fan as well that's why i'm making this video anyway i'm not gonna make this video to bash wwe because i love WWE, but i have to tell the truth because i like to tell the truth about wwe and i want to tell people who think wwe is real why it is fake because if you think it's real i'm sorry but wwe is fake but with that being said at number three is sin Cara and kalisto entrance so if you guys don't know sin Cara and kalisto like jump before they get in the ring and they do this cool stuff but there are two fails in this video right here the first one being Sin Cara actually doing the jump and he botches the jump by the way. He doesn't even get on the rope which is interesting and very 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 awful promotion by him because this is his promo I'm pretty sure. And you guys can see right there there is a trampoline right there. Remember guys WWE is a billionaire company and there is a trampoline right there. Some fan actually caught this on camera and I will make sure to put the video down below for you guys to check out cause this is really 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 good video right here. This explains everything like how uh, the high flyers actually jump and how Kalisto does this and everything like this is next level leaked right here as well. But with that being said at number 2 is this actually happened not a long ago. So you guys do remember when Roman Reigns and Triple H were fighting on Monday Night Raw? Yeah, do you guys remember when that uh, actually announcer man got up and he looked like he was doing something with his hand? Yeah, he was actually giving Roman Reigns a blood vessel or blood cap and then Roman Reigns put it all over his face to make it look real. So this is really, 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 really trippy. So if you guys did not know, which you guys probably don't because I'm about to tell you but one of the wwe fans outside or was behind the announcer man actually caught this on camera remember guys every single person pretty much has a phone nowadays so this is not that strange to see happen because and wwe has to be careful when they do this just know that wwe but yeah the guy actually gave roman Reigns some blood and then he put it and that is very 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 easy for somebody to capture because it's like not that hard to do but with that being said at number one is superstars screaming and yelling or calling out their move in front of millions of people in the ring so i'm gonna play a video of people or wwe superstars yelling saying i'm gonna do this move i'm gonna do submission and all of that stuff so hopefully you guys enjoy the video and i will see you guys next time because this is my video but remember i'm gonna play that loud noises peace